Lift the leaves and look underneath. Look closely. You might find a tiny thing moving, some powdery substance. Sometimes a leaf eaten from the edges, holes, yellow spots. While lizards and spiders are not the insects to be worried about, bees help in pollination. The real troublemakers are these mealybugs, spider mites, aphids, and kinds of leaf eating insects. So the question is, what do you do? First, wash the plant gently under water pressure. Both sides of the leaves, this will help dislodge any insect sticking to the surface. Also, try pruning your plants regularly. Remove the infected part. You might have to do this weekly depending on the infection. If this does not help, the second recommendation is take neem oil, about 5 to 10 ml, 2 3 drops of shampoo or liquid soap in about 300 ml or a glass of water. Spray this on all the infected parts of the plant. Let this be on your plant for about an hour or two. Do this in the evening and then wash with plain water. Depending on the infection, you might have to repeat it every two to three days until you have eradicated the complete population of these insects. The third method is not something that I really recommend because it might kill your plant, but I call it the missile method. If nothing is working and the infection is too much, then use a concentrated neem oil spray. Spray it on the infected parts. Because this is concentrated solution, it might severely damage your plant leaves. But if the infestation, especially if there are too many ants, you can use this spray. Let it be on the plant for two to three hours and then wash with plain water. All these three methods should be done in the evening. Do not do them in the daytime, especially in the noon time. For the neem oil spray, if you see the leaves have started dying out, don't worry. Within few days, new leaves, healthy leaves will come out and they'll be fine. Lastly, always remember that you should water your plants appropriately. It has been seen that thirsty plants, plants that are not watered enough, are more prone or vulnerable to insects or any kind of infestation. Keep the plants in a well air circulated space. Regular wind movement makes it difficult for the insects to attach to the leaf surface. Start the treatment at an early stage when only few individuals are visible. Otherwise, the population will shoot up very quickly and it will become very difficult to control. To regularly assess what all insects are visiting your balcony, your terrace, your garden, you can also use sticky mats, something like these. They're pretty efficient in capturing kinds of insects visiting your plants. This way you can also monitor if there is an upcoming infestation in your plants. Good luck! Have you recently checked out the Garden Up store? We have introduced a new range of planters and baskets. And to celebrate the new year, we are offering a flat 10% discount on all our products. Details will be under this video and a link to the store will also be under this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon next year. Take care.